what do you want us to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yet, though. But yes, I agree. So we're going to go over it. Yes, I agree. Uh, I agree. New, yeah, not good. new. You've heard it before. Yeah, it's 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 it makes sense. Does it make sense? Does it not make sense? I thought that sure would tell piano the works. I didn't know piano. I thought the wires would make the sound. I didn't know it made something else make the sound. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's. Isn't that like the exact same thing as the piano board? What? Same idea. Is that like how a guitar works? Is like you have to have the board behind it or hold things down? No. I don't. I, think it's like, well, I don't know. Is like, there a board behind the guitar? No, it's about how tight the strings are to make the sound. So why is the piano talking about a sound? It's like trying to piano. Oh, okay. You don't actually play a different Again, I don't know how pianos work really. I think that was a camera. That's why it's a front the soundboard is what has you know, makes it acoustic, like, like go out more. The volume. So you would hear it. You would hear it. It's but it nice. amplifies it. It increases the intensity. Okay, that makes sense because it doesn't make sense that you wouldn't hear it at all. No, you would. Because if you hit some sort of string, it's going to make a vibrating noise. Yeah. It's time. He said that we're acoustic. That means we have to listen to Shawn Mendes. Okay. Stop. 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 So why does the sound wave produced by a piano die over time? Okay, someone raise your hand and, and, and try to answer that question. Anybody want to tackle that? Go ahead, uh, Isaiah. Because the string stops vibrating after a while. Okay. Yes. As, I mean, yes. You're you're right. But okay. So when you hit the string, you're creating the string to vibrate. Well, well that's it. Could you explain that from an energy standpoint? It transfers energy. But energy. Right. Yeah. Right. It transfers energy. Just Cole, stop it. You can't answer every question. Yeah. Gross. That's one question. So when the when the piano hammer hits the string, it causes energy to transfer to the string in a vibration motion. Okay. Well, that transfers it to the air, which then gets transferred to our ears. But eventually. Eventually, that energy is going to what? Dissipate. Yeah, dissipate, die out over time. Okay? So, sound and intensity. I did see a thing where there was a. Why is it a I don't know. Sometimes we're just stuff. Okay, so here's an equation for sound intensity. Okay, as you might, as we have discussed, um, as the sound wave travels, it's really taking energy and it's transferring it through a medium from molecule to molecule. Okay, the rate at which it is transferred, or how fast it is transferred, rate is speed. Okay, it is going to be called the intensity of the wave. More intense, more energy that's being transferred, and usually, the louder it sounds. Everybody hear what I said? Okay. The more energy gets transferred per unit time over a specific area means it's got a higher intensity, therefore it's usually perceived as louder. Are we right? That's fine. You can just write intensity. I don't know why it doesn't have a variable. Now, what do you think on a sine curve relates to the intensity of the wave? Slope. Okay, because we talked about how the bigger the amplitude, the more energy it has. Yes? Did you say what uh, or delta E is? Uh, so delta is change in, and E would be energy. And it would energy make sense delta. why the intensity would be based upon how much energy is being transferred. Yeah. Okay, so essentially, whoop. Oh. Come back. So essentially what this is, well, is the power equation. Just with a different, it looks a little bit different. I think in the previous power equations we did, we did with work, but we know work's very closely related to energy. Okay, so essentially when you're doing power, what you're trying to, <laughs> what you're trying to figure out is, how much energy gets dissipated over time? 
The more energy dissipated over a certain time period, the more power or more intensity it has. Now, the reason why we also have to add an area impact into it is because as it gets, um, as it goes into more area, what you're essentially doing is watering down the energy. Or you're taking the energy and you're dispersing it over more area. Because the source or the vibration source only has so much energy to give. This is why when you're further away from an energy source or from a sound instrument, you don't hear as much. Because by the time it got to you, there's not a whole lot of energy that's probably hitting your eardrum. Does that make sense? I see. What's the matter? What's the threshold? I lost my note card again. Oh no. I'm just gonna rewrite the physics. Maybe not for now though. Just the yeah, I'm gonna know that right now. Okay. So we know we've done power stuff before. Power's units are. Do you guys remember? Come on. No, I was going to ask a question. What? 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 Yes, what's the threshold of pain? We're getting to that. Just wait. I tried. I, we haven't got there yet. Here, let me show you. What? Come here. Yes. This is our security was laughing. Well, if you want, you can do it to Lauren. Three times. Yeah, I was going to ask. Threshold of pain is hell. <laughs> oh, but it's hard in the sky. So okay. All right. We'll get to that visuals coming up here in a sec. Okay. So here's how intensities units are. Here's what this are. This is what the intensities units are, and you can figure that out based on looking at the equation. If you have power over an area, that's going to be a watt over a meter squared. Is there anything other than right on that? Like, now you want to, you like want to drive unit? Or, yeah. Or an I. Okay. J. Cut. Oh, wait, there's a J. Now, if you look at the intensity equation, you can see that the intensity is going to decrease as the distance increases. Why does that make sense? Uh, Raise your hand if you know. Because it says uh, the intensity of the sound is going to decrease as your distance increases. Raise your hand. Right. Because the bigger distance you have, the higher number you have for R, and that means you're dividing by a bigger number. Sure. And does that make sense conceptually that what you're doing is taking the same amount of energy and you're watering it down over a larger area? Like Which way I, don't want to do. I see. I didn't I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. So this kind of this is kind of the why of that. I'm just looking at you guys, and you just don't seem to be too. He's reading. I'm listening. I, I tried to answer your question, and you're like, it's kind of like reviewing. Yeah, let me just like look at this real quick. Oh, that's good. All right, so here we go. Oh, just just cause you up. wanted it so much, you wanted to know, you know what the threshold of pain I'm is. I'm sorry, we're curious. That's good. <laughs> well, you just acted like it was bad. No, just wait. <laughs> what is the threshold of pain? Curiosity of the cat. What was that, Lawrence? Something about the question in the full ass. Could you say that the reason why I stood outside the threshold of pain? Fresh. Yeah, you just can't. Yeah, I'm sorry, I tend to hear the loudest person in the room. It's usually me, but okay. So human human hearing depends on both frequency and intensity. We talked about how um, you could have a pitch that you guys could hear, but that I could not. Because I'm old. I was an idiot. Had subwoofers as a high school student. So oh, you're separate. Yeah, yeah. I was pips. <laughs> As a homeschool, yes, I was a uh, swag and home. Hey, it was the six. Uh, I drove. I drove a sports car, stick shift, and that. Oh yeah. So we're gonna see what really matters, and that's the six inches between the breastplate and the back. Turn off that camera. I gotta beat up a student. Threshold of pain. Yeah, I gotta show her the threshold.
Oh, you mean the one over here? Sorry, I love it. No, not that one. Don't, don't. I won't say that. Okay, so yeah, you can't laugh at yourself. You can't laugh at the moment. I laugh at the Mormons. Have you seen that Broadway musical? Yeah. No, there's no reason why I can't laugh at myself. That was when I was in high school. So here we go. If we were to interpret this graph, let's say I'm an ACT, it gave you this graph, and it gave you a few questions. Would you be able to interpret it? Uh, yes. Uh, guys, in the important thing that you guys really need to do uh, on the science section of the ACT when it comes to graphical interpretation, you really just need to look at the x-axis and the y-axis. you got to figure out what the x-axis is, what the y-axis is, and that should help. I mean, if you're just going to stare at the middle part of the graph, and you're not going to get anywhere. You gotta know, okay, what is the x-axis telling me? What is the y-axis telling me? You can see here's frequency, and you can see here's how intense it is, which we know intensity is a lot of times referred to perceived loudness. So what you should notice here is that when it's a really, really low frequency, what needs to be true for you to be able to hear it? You need a high intensity. Okay? And you can even say that you need a, a, a higher intensity when it's at a high frequency than you would in your middle of the line frequency. So, so what, how you would interpret this graph here is the threshold of hearing would be this bottom portion. Why do you think it's called the threshold of hearing? Yeah, an average person would be able to hear if it had that particular intensity and that particular frequency. Okay, so then you can imagine then what this threshold of pain is talking about. Now, does it? It doesn't mean that you're actually physically going, "Ow, my ears hurt." But that doesn't mean it's it's healthy for your eardrums. You could actually create cause damage to your ears without feeling the pain of it. Oh, isn't that like Well, it depends on how. Like screaming. What's your problem? Well, I mean, screaming is not the problem here. It's just really loud. It's going. Okay. It's just how loud. Like, like, what hurts? Oh, I see. Toby Mac. Right. Any questions on this visual and, yeah, and how you totally interpret bad. whether or not you can hear it or whether or not it's going to be damaged to your ear? Let's try it out. I'm not 100% sure. Um, we got a regular player right there. So I, I there's not a huge discrepancy here. Um, if I were to guess. Maybe it's because the bass is the most important instrument of your band. That's got it. Bass is just a bag guitar. Wow. I mean, it kind of holds What a hater, man. You didn't do anything. Wow. 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 Anything? Too bad you didn't have the bass, you wouldn't have any music. It already holds everything together. Okay, okay, okay. We're not going to have this argument. Go watch physics videos and hybrids. Okay. So intensity of a wave is really what we use to talk about how loud something is. Because okay. so you can have a high pitch and not be loud, right? You could have a low pitch and it not be loud, or you could have a low pitch and it be really, really loud. Okay. So how we perceive loudness is is how intense it is, or how much energy it is that's hitting our ears. Okay. Now, what's up, Doctor? I just I trip on your guys' legs all the time. So. It's kind of just a knee-jerk reaction of being frustrated that I'm always tripping. Okay. So now here's what's interesting is 
perceive loudness or how loud something is, it's not directly proportional to the intensity. It's got a logarithmic relationship, which is why on the next slide you're going to see the decimal scale. Oh, the decimal scale is uh, goes up by factors of 10 because it's a logarithmic curve. It's not a linear relationship. Okay. Now, relative intensity, I'm not going to, it's more just a vocab word up here. I'm not going to have you really think too hard about this or, or really apply it anyway. It's just the ratio of, of what you can hear and, or your, what your threshold of hearing is and how intense a particular sound is. Make sure we get so, um, you probably have heard of the decibel scale, and you probably know that the decibel scale has something to do with how loud something sounds. You're probably aware of, uh, of that. Um, maybe you, you weren't able to apply what the physics think, concepts of that had to do as far as intensity and as far as the energy that causes it to have a higher decibel. And here, I think it's the next slide, it has uh, a table of some common examples. So your threshold of hearing is considered zero decibels. And there's some, in, you know, a dimensionless unit. What? Um, what? Uh, a dimensionless unit? Called the decimal. Are we in the fourth dimension? Oh, oh. It, yeah, it doesn't have, it's, it's really just a logarithmic relationship. Of it. It's essentially in in intensity in numbers that aren't so crazy. It's really what it is. And why does it say air conditioning at six meters? We put that at about 30 decibels. I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Like six meters away. Guys, this is this is relative. This is not like always and every like not all lawnmowers sound the same. Okay, not all whispers are exactly the same. Quiet whisper or whisper differently. What? Quiet whisper. Quiet whisper. That's why I just. Is that the definition of a whisper? What? And again, not all automobile horns are going to oh. sound the same. Yeah, I said what? You said this is relative. It's kind of redundant because everything's relative. It's true. Yeah, this is relative. Yeah, relative. I can't even see All right, let's. It's always on the same scale. One is one all the time. Are you sure? Two plus. Okay. R. Qualify it. What is the intensity of the sound wave? <laughs> he was the only one talking at that time. When one person's talking, I think we're going to break up too. More sound. So, what's our intensity equation? Um, we can abbreviate it as I if we want. That's really not cool. That's not a cool thing. Okay, so I equals what? I equals dollar. Okay, we'll just do that. Four pi r squared. Okay, what is the intensity of sound wave produced by a trumpet at a distance of 3.2 meters? That's going to be your radius. Why is it radius? Because we have a circle of area around When the power output is 0.2 watts. Okay. What is the intensity? Boy, this is hard. Didn't you always assume sound is spherical? Yeah. I don't know okay. the answer. That's pretty tough. Oh, no. Point point the two. intensity of a long no. Or this is a like pi. A white r squared gives you your intensity. What you gotta get? 1.55. Did I just think big? 1.6? And the units are a? Um, what? Watt per square. Squared. A, 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 a cube xi. What? That's my new direct. Different. 
Questions? This isn't an overly difficult problem. Nope. Could we solve for a different variable? Is this the same type of stuff we've been doing kind of all year long? Yeah, it's like using the question. Plug and try to solve for x. Plug and try. And then in the future, I might just give you less equations and make some more. Uh, it's just r that's squared. Are you going to use like a four? Yes. Future in the next year. Yeah, it's not And not in advanced chem. Advanced chem, you know, doesn't, you don't need, I don't need to make that. Oh, we'll do yeah. What? What'd you say? I said I don't need to make advanced Just using advanced Hey, you, you, well, talk to you. Okay. So here it says the intensity of sound from an explosion is 0 0.10 watts per meter squared. Tell you at a distance of 1,000, it looks like. Okay. Find the sound at distances 5, 100, 100, 100 and 10. And they didn't put 10, but they put 100. Now, um, we have our intensity. It's 4 pi r squared, right? Correct. Okay. So I'm not going to be able to get all this done, but let me walk you through what, what you would do here. We have enough information to find the power, correct? Yeah. Okay. Now, is the power going to change between these yes. distances? No. No, the power isn't going to change, but the intensity we hear will change, correct? Yeah. As you get further away, is the intensity going to be higher or lower than if you were close? Lower. Lower. Okay. Dissipating the energy over a larger area, and it's going to sound less intense when it gets to your ear. Oh! Well done. Yeah. 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 Well, like I was saying, one is always one. <laughs> <laughs> but the one we 